the brain is actually constantly, constantly making predictions about what's going to happen next. Um, and this is part of the new model, the, the predictive brain, with which you'll be well familiar, perhaps not all of your audience, because we, most of the time, and if we just deal with our physical senses, we are only aware of less than 3% of what's actually impinging upon us um, at any given time. And it's usually only when we get something that breaks the prediction that we start noticing. So you get out of bed in the morning, you put your foot down, you don't notice, you're doing it all on autopilot. You go to the door of the bedroom, you open the door, but ah, I've just tricked you. I put super glue on it. <laughs> you can't open your door. <laughs> and suddenly you begin to notice. And then you get out of the room and now I've also super glued your coffee pot. Now you begin to notice, you begin to, to see things. Well, I'm not going to put super glue on things around you to make you become more attentive. I'm simply going to say that is actually how our brain and also our mind, which I think are two separate things, um, operate. They work on predictions and we need to be more aware of those um, all the time. And they, these predictions actually work extremely quickly. They're also mediated by a part of the brain. You and I were taught the limbic system of the brain is involved in emotion. It actually isn't. And that's a, a, a mistake. It's actually the limbic systems of the brain are primarily involved in extremely short-term memory, rapid responses, and making predictions. Um, the, a lot of what we learned in school wasn't quite right about that. So we are constantly in this massive um, world of information that's out there all the time. And most of the time, what we actually do is we, we switch it off. We don't notice it because we'd be overwhelmed by it. And the same applies not just with external senses, but also with internal senses. 